Welcome to the Vorta Catch V Retrieval Basket Emergency Lithotripsy in Service. Let's review how to assemble the Vorta Catch V Retrieval Basket to the Lithocrush V Mechanical Lithotriptor Handle. In the event of basket impaction, the Vorta Catch V Retrieval Basket may be assembled to the Lithocrush V Handle for emergency lithotripsy. Let's start with the Lithocrush V Handle. Push the ratchet switch into the off position. Seat the pin on the control grip of the Vorticatch V basket into the hole on the underside of the Lithocrush V handle. Next, insert the protrusion on the Vorticatch V handle into the recess on the control rod on the Lithocrush V handle. Push the ratchet switch on the Lithocrush V handle into the on position. Slowly turn the handle to close the basket around the stone and eventually crush the stone or cause the basket to break. It is important to turn no faster than you see here where the stone can slip out of the basket. When either the stone fragments or the basket breaks, turn the ratchet off and fully close the basket. Then remove the basket from the patient. Disassemble the Vorticatch V basket from the Lithocrush V handle by reversing the assembly steps. Dispose of the Vorticatch V basket when the procedure is finished. In the event that the Lithocrush V handle is unavailable, or lithotripsy using the Lithocrush V handle fails, then an emergency lithotriptor handle may be used to complete emergency lithotripsy. Before using the emergency lithotriptor handle, ensure that the rotatable bar can freely turn and confirm the ratchet lock works by engaging and disengaging it at the handlebar. First, cut the stem on the Vorticatch V control grip. Wire cutters are not provided by Olympus. If the guide wire is still in the patient, then remove it at this time. Now we must simultaneously remove the Vorticatch V sheath and scope from the patient. Do not remove the sheath prior to removing the scope as this may cause damage to the scope working channel. Now you should see the remaining stem connected to one braided wire hanging from the patient's mouth. Trim the remaining stem close to the braided basket wire with the wire cutters. If too much of the stem is left then it will not smoothly pass through the emergency lithotriptor coil sheath. The stem and basket wire are now loaded into the coil sheath. The wire is advanced through the unmarked distal end of the sheath. The end with the green band is the proximal end and is connected to the handle later on. We will now load the wire into the emergency lithotriptor handle. Note that the emergency handle has two locks. One is a thumb screw that secures the coil sheath and the second is the ratchet lock. The wire is passed through the hole at the top of the handle and through the hole at the center of the T-piece. Insert the green proximal end of the coil sheath into the hole at the top of the emergency lithotriptor handle. Lock the sheath in place by turning the thumb screw clockwise as shown. Advance the sheath into the patient until it reaches the stone. Ensure that the ratchet is in the locked position and confirm the coil sheath is locked into the handle. While holding the basket wire against the handle with your left hand, slowly turn the rotatable bar with your right hand to crush the stone. Once the stone is crushed, or the basket is broken, ensure that you relieve the tension in the sheath by disengaging the ratchet prior to removing from the patient. Remove devices from the patient. 